Hello everybody and welcome to Uligan's Christmas is Coming. This is a fun little Christmas game that Graham from Two Left Thumbs invited me to play, along with Nezaru and Super Positive. The game plays a lot like Monster Prom but without the dating aspect and an obvious Christmas theme. We played the game in one sitting and I'll probably break this up into four videos for you guys. And one thing to note is that the video is from Super Positive's perspective because my video unfortunately was corrupt, but due to the nature of the gameplay it shouldn't matter too much because you can still see everything that I'm doing. You can find everyone's channels in the description and a Merry Christmas to you all. I do hope Hope you enjoy. Ooh, Krampus has started to snoop around the outskirts of town. Every year he tries to get his hands on the naughty and nice list, and almost every year we stop him. Almost. Oh, the horror of the poor naughty children. I like how he just got the, the <laughs> one dialogue yeah. box with one the word. One <laughs> we appreciate the, the contribution. Santa usually goes soft in them, but Krampus? No. <laughs> Krampus <laughs> makes sure the naughty ones get their coal. <laughs> At least you also got a one word. <laughs> you know, I, there's like a small little rivalry going on because I don't like the fact that we have the same stats. And so now I feel like I lost that by <laughs> having yeah. the shorter word. <laughs> Did anyone clean stalls? No. I don't I'm, believe so. No, I'm gonna clean up some reindeer shit. The last one was training, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Prepare yourself for the foulest task in the North Pole: cleaning up after the reindeers. Oh, you're being a hero. You're doing the foulest Blitzen, task. Blitzen never makes it easy. Blitzen has diarrhea. <laughs> Blitzen <laughs> has terrible <laughs> stomach issues. Yeah, it might grow out there. Yeah. <laughs> Blitzen has been blitz in the place. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yes! One strong! <laughs> yes! A strong stomach, maybe. And I'm finally not poor. <laughs> a group of older snow elves comes around to hang out with the reindeer after they're done for the day. A bonfire is made, hot cider is passed around, and marshmallows are roasted. One of the snow elves keeps referring to Donna as Dun Dunder, and Blitzen as Blitzkem Blitzem, uh, who, se who seems not to mind. God damn, I can't read. I really can't. Those were also nonsense words. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Figure it out is very, uh, like Eastern Canadian. <laughs> I don't know where this game was made. Figure it out. Is is he? Is one of these a bad option? I can't tell. <laughs> I think it means like you would investigate. It just seems I like hard to investigate. Games. You know the conversation and turn, around, uh, turn to your thoughts. Name fragments float before your eyes. Then it clicks. Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning. They're nicknames. Oh, damn. The two nod and go back to their conversations. Another elf turns to Dasher and asks, Is that your real name? She glares at them. Yes. You gain one jolly. I finally got a jolly back. What and was what it? It, it was Donner and Blitzen? Donner means... Wait, what were the two? It's... One of those means thunder? Apparently, sir. Apparently <laughs> thunder and lightning. Whoever knew. knew. I say I'll go to the post office. Deliver San uh deliver letters to Santa or mix up the letters. I'll do this one because you guys wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Only the baddest elves would go out of their way to stop Christmas wishes from getting to Santa. But you spend a week doing just that. You gain three, three naughty. naughty. Holy, Holy shit. First negative. A call for help comes from one of the back rooms as a stream of letters shoots from the floor to the ceiling behind the front desk. Someone has mismatched the mail tubes. One of the elves next to you gets sucked into the wall to a nearby tube. <laughs> By a nearby tube. Someone has oh to do God. something. Not me, though. Unscrew the main tubes. Look for the culprit. <laughs> I wonder who it could be. I feel like <laughs> both of these the are good in their own right, which is unfortunate because I wanted the option of like, oh, don't Just do leave. anything. <laughs> Just <laughs> you, walk away. Your shift ended five minutes ago. You're leaving. <laughs> Maybe I could Bye. push out one elf with another elf. Ah, uh, now there's two elves up there. I, that's the only idea I had. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who did this. Whoever did this has to still be inside. <laughs> you rush and check on everyone in the building. Who could have done this dastardly thing? Hmm. You're able to find Mal. Ah, yes, yes. of course, Mal. We can shift <laughs> the blame to Mal. Mal. Always Mal. 
<laughs> he was trying to sneak out of a window in one of those back rooms with an arm full of tube maintenance equipment. Come on, Mel. You gain one speedy. Are you kidding me? I love how the final word me. there was, come on, Mal. Implying you didn't really do anything. You just sort of, <laughs> like, made them feel guilty as they left. <laughs> that was a weird end to that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not, you didn't take Mal to the to the authorities. You just sort of reprimanded oh, them. Mal, that Mal, back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like I want an opportunity to spend the money that I have, and I can't predict where that would or could be. Uh, I'm also scared to go to the woods a little bit, because, like, Krampus is running around. But, yeah. I don't know, what do, what do I have? I don't have very good stats. I don't want to mess with Krampus. I will... People have made toys, yes? Has anyone yeah. made presents? I don't think so. Hmm. I will attempt to move presents. I feel like oh I'll my god, you look so stressed. You <laughs> spend the week taking finished toys from the workshop to the storage unit behind the sleigh, where they await the big night. Gain two strong and are paid one gumdrop. Today, two the strong. master ball crafter has visited <laughs> the workshops and has issued a challenge. She's looking to see if anyone's worthy of becoming her apprentice. I want to be second in command of ball crafting. She has asked. <laughs> That anyone interested present her with the bounciest ball they can create. Oh, I'm so not creative. It would be a tremendous <laughs> honor to become a master ball crafter, but it's not for everyone. You have to ask yourself, how high are you willing to bounce? Uh, I mean, do you think if I sit out, it's strictly neutral? Or is there benefits to be had? I would, try. Like, I, I would take the attempt. <laughs> Or is it like, does it reflect well on me to really know my place? <laughs> for, for me, here, here's the way I look at it. If you sit out, you're not gaining anything from doing that, right? But like, if you try, and even if you fail, if you make the attempt, you are putting yourself out there. Who do you want to be, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the game's really mean, and it likes to take away stats from you when you do something poorly. <laughs> Like, yeah, what, what happens if you sit out and it's just, like, creative minus three? Oh, no. I don't know. I kind of want to learn. I Like, this is a trial and error. I am going to sit out because I want to know, does the game punish you for that? Or is it flat and neutral? This is a silly task and you will have none of it. There is work to be done. While you go about your duties, you watch the others as they try to craft the perfect ball. Some use interesting techniques that you learn a lot from. You gain uh, yeah. one. Oh, okay. so may but like maybe, maybe you could you have gained more game. if you tried participating. There was, yeah, th there was yeah. the opportunity to have another creative point or lose a creative point. I'm guessing. Yes, I would uh, guess that's that's the trade off there. All right, uh, let me go to the frozen lake because I want to fucking make some coins. <laughs> I mean, we only have one week left to to spend money on, and it comes up so infrequently. Oh wait, what, what's the time limit? What like two we got weeks, two till weeks left? So like after your term, we'll have one week left till Christmas. Okay, well that still gives me money for next week. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but you know what? You never know. There could be something that costs like six. You know what though? I do want to see if I can increase my speedy. So I'm gonna fucking skate. Let's do it. Damn. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you bring the rose, or was the rose tossed to you? <laughs> no idea. You spend Caught the next in your mouth week. Like a train dog. You spend the next week practicing figure skating at the north with the North Pole's team. They specialize in duos, so you'd better be ready to raise your fuck. <laughs> you better be ready to raise your partner. Your little you gain two strong arm. and one speedy. Oh damn! Your character is so crazy well rounded. <laughs> One afternoon, a stand appears next to the lake with a sign stating, Crystal Snowball Readings. A line begins forming as you watch. Jack Frost walks up to you and says, The Frost Magister is an old friend of mine from the Winter Kingdom. His magic never disappoints. I don't know why I gave him that voice. I, just <laughs> I do like that like an hour and a half ago, he was a surfer dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone had different interpretations. He's had a bad month or two. He's he's down a hole here. I could I could also 
like try emphasizing that surfer dude with the frost magister is an old friend of mine from the winter <laughs> kingdom his magic never disappoints <laughs> I, now I like the idea that Jack Frost is kind of low confidence these days, and he's workshopping different. Forms. <laughs> he's trying to shake up like his his personality or whatever. And try he's, something try, new. he's trying to become a new Jack Frost. Is Probably he, he's trying to impress Turtle. Still, he's a little yeah. upset that hasn't worked out yet. And he's trying uh-huh. a new approach. He's trying. He's trying. Let's see. There you go, four gumdrops. Oh, uh, see, I want an opportunity to use my gumdrops, so I'm I'm gonna use them. I don't know I if mean, this is a mistake, but I'll take it. It's no, the most expensive thing yet. Yeah. You might as well. After waiting in line, you hand the magister your gumdrops. He tells you to look into the snowball and that something is calling out to you. You gaze for a moment before. Is that your missing lucky sock? You misplaced one pa- one of the pair several years ago. <laughs> you thank the Frost Magister and run off to, rece- to retrieve your missing treasure. You spend four gumdrops to get one Speedy and two Jolly. Damn, son. Damn. I'm actually pretty even across like all my other yeah. stats, except for gumdrops. I just and spent your, those. Your nice is huge as well right now. Six, I'm- yeah frustrated frustrated by how well you're doing (laughs) (laughs) and now the christmas snow has set in with only a week to go the power of eggnog and candy canes have us all dashing for the finish line breathe in that christmas spirit one more time we'll all be sleeping until next november again soon enough by the way can i just (laughs) Carry on, sorry. Oh, no, uh, you first. Okay, so I was, I was really tempted then because I have to click the dialogue to just not click and see how long it takes people to say <laughs> Draw out the uncom- uncomfortableness. Um, I'm so mad that Paul jumped up to the second fastest. I know. So I, I wanted to just take a moment and point out the fact that without coordination and without like really agreeing to it, we've all come to like an order of rating. It's always Turtle, Graham, myself, and the Nez. <laughs> well, I assume that was because when we joined the lobby, that was the first, second, third, fourth for yeah. choosing characters. I just thought that was funny, and I, I appreciate it. It was uncoordinated. It was unspoken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, you're going to mix up the mail again. Yes, I'm going to mix up the mail again because I'm going all in on being naughty. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only the baddest elves would go out of their way to stop Christmas wishes from getting to Santa. But you spend the whole week doing just that. You gain three naughty. I'm going all in. One of the managers drops a pile of mail into your hands asking you to take it to the back room. Not wanting to gum up the gum up the works, you make your way to the back. Wait, I want to gum up the works. Listen, not wanting to go to the works. But I mean, if you get caught, then you won't be able to continually mess things up. I'm surprised they're not more suspicious of you from last week. (laughs) On the door is a sign that reads, Beware the sorting machine. You creak the door open and hear a shriek. You enter in time to see Krampus going through the mail. Uh Uh-oh. He loses his balance and falls into the pit in the middle of the room, congested with presents. Is this the end of Krampus? (laughs) Yeah, holy. The The sorting machine. machine. It's kind of like the sorting hat, but it just puts you into different colored elf costumes. (laughs) Help him out. Gift wrap him. (laughs) There's a roll of wrapping paper in the corner. No hesitation there. (laughs) You grab it and get to work weaving through the other gifts being consumed by the sorting machine. With a few flicks of your wrist, you're able to perfectly wrap Krampus as he disappears underneath the pile. And he dies in the machine. (laughs) Yes. You you see as he's mangled and each body part individually wrapped. That'll teach him to go (laughs) snooping through the mail for the naughty and nice list. And you gain one naughty for doing that. Possibly also (laughs) saving the naughty kids on the list. So win-win. Somehow... You may have just saved Christmas, and it was naughty, apparently. It was indirect, <laughs> but you may have saved Christmas. <laughs> you may have very... also killed him, though, so there's that. At the very least, you have stopped them from uh, whipping kids. <laughs> 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 and 
on Christmas Day. Krampus is officially dead. I really hope that if the map decides to move down again, we'll see that the house now has like a for sale <laughs> sign. Yeah. <laughs> you can see one of the chalk outlines. <laughs> oh god. Or like him wrapped up outside yeah. the door. He oh. got delivered to his own house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I wanna I wanna I wanna like make toys. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was really invested in making toys. <laughs> You'd spend the entire week inside the workshop hammering away at toys with your fellow elves on the assembly line. Don't forget to whistle while you work. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> You gain one jolly, one speedy, and are paid one gumdrop. It's bring your child to work day, and the workshop is congested with dozens of pint-sized elves. <laughs> Today, so they're all elves. How tiny would they be? <laughs> oh, God. Today, they can not only see how the toys are made, but they get to try them out as well. But they are still young, and curiosity always gets the better of them. One of the youths has crawled onto the conveyor belt and is in danger of heading for the woodsaw! Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god. Oh yes. Run down the conveyor belt, stop the conveyor belt. Run it down. This feels like Nez is doing. I feel like you set this I, <laughs> So, what? I'm Me assuming know, it was running, run down the conveyor belt is I chase down the kid. Right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Or no, 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 I guess, yeah, like, you hop up on the conveyor belt and start running down it to grab the kid. More fuel for the fire. But if I stop the conveyor belt, <laughs> I achieve the same goal. I think both work. Uh, stop the conveyor belt. Thinking quickly, you grab two wooden blocks and throw them one after the other. The first arcs and hits the switch to stop the conveyor belt on the far side of the room, jerking the child to fall <laughs> forward. Oh, God. <laughs> The second perfectly knocks them off the belt and tumbling into their father's arms below. The room Hello. cheers as the boy's father lifts him above his head, then rushes over to thank you profusely. I'd like to imagine that I gave his kid a concussion by hitting him <laughs> with the block. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you, Paul. Oh, God. <laughs> thanks. He thanks me profusely. You gain one speedy and one jolly. I don't Damn, know everyone's if stats are really outclassing it. mine now. I don't know if anyone in that room would watch that play out and think to themselves, wow, what quick and creative thinking that was. What a hero. <laughs> <laughs> he just manically starts chucking wood around the room. I love the idea of, like, hitting a kid with, like, a wooden block and the people congratulating me for it. <laughs> I Oh, dang, I was thinking of going there. I haven't decided yet, though. I wasn't fully committed. I don't know, because I think the only thing left to do is taunt them, but I don't really want to taunt them. Uh, I'm a little surprised that in the second half of the game, the options didn't change for the, the four that stayed. Yeah. Um, I do I like that. More hench? Like, kids came to the elves' workshop, right? And so, like, I, 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 guess, I guess there's no need to convince children elves that there's any such thing as santa they probably like run into him at the grocery store right yeah. like, i i think i'm just gonna get more hench <laughs> spend a week practicing a figure skating with the north pole's team they specialize in duos you better re get ready to raise your partner two strong and one speedy up to 15 Damn. strong <laughs> yeah seeing as you walk past the frozen lake one day everyone is exchanging empty presents and imagining it to just be what they've always wanted Jack Frost walks up to you and tells you he borrowed tradition, um, the tradition from a human town he spent the winter in years ago. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so poor. <laughs> That's a bit. Let's try well, it you'll, out. You'll, you'll fit right in in this lame version yeah. of the box. <laughs> this is down. terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Someone approaches you with a ribbon-wrapped box in hand. They extend the gift with you with a warm smile. For you. Light floods out of you, out, out as you open it. I was gonna say out of you, whoa. No. Light floods out as you open it, revealing a gift so perfectly right. Something you search for but were never able to find. A Christmas delight. The warmth of the light fills you and you close the box, moving to spread the joy to someone else. Three jolly. I was kind of hoping that they would be like, 
kind of condescending to you because you couldn't give back a gift as well. <laughs> yeah. So, like, right. they would give you a gift and you'd feel so, like, radiated and, like, fulfilled <laughs> by their gift. And then they would just stand there awkwardly being like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> It's my Come turn. On. Where's mine? <laughs> I I have five gumdrops and I have no idea where to possibly spend them. I I guess I, I I don't know. I think five gumdrops worth of sodas is like gonna put me in the drunk tank or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> I I like part of me wants to go to the woods, but I like we've already done the feast twice and no I one wants to taunt. I would definitely, I think the woods is probably the most, in, like, the most, okay, so there's two two places I think you could go. You could either go back to the reindeer stalls, where we found a hole to Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> is that where we found that? I think it was, wasn't it? You, like, trained the deers, mm -hmm. the reindeer. That does sound right, doesn't it? And, like, you fell down a hole and it led you to Narnia. So you could either go that way and see if the, anything happens there, or you can go into the woods, which would be my personal pick, because I love how cute they are. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that strictly because I don't want to be a chump who does any work during the week when money doesn't <laughs> matter anymore. So I'm going to avoid work. And now that Krampus is gone, just go party down in, in the forest with the Snowkins. Uh, communal feast, ideas and stories, freely relax into the evenings. You gain a nice, a jolly, a creative. One afternoon, as you're sitting down for lunch under a tree, you hear a rustling in the distance. Before you can do anything, Prancer prances past you at high speed. I've danced with Dancer, I've pranced with Prancer. <laughs> Her bad habit of finding herself out here with no way back to the stalls is going to be the ruin of Christmas. Oh my god, she's gonna Time ruin it. I'm going to invent Rudolph. That's my solution. <laughs> your lunch sits in your lap, but you, you can still hear Prancer getting further away from you. <laughs> I'm not very fast. I think if you tr chase Prancer, Prancer, they'll give you more speedy. I'm more likely to find an interesting result that way, for sure. Yeah. You sigh, taking a few more bites of your lunch before packing it up to begin the chase. I finished eating first because I'm so not speedy. You duck into the woods, walking in the direction. <laughs> there's no, there's no haste. To no the urgency at all. No, no. By the time you can no longer track Prancer, you're lost, and it's getting dark. Maybe I can buy my way home. Call, call a lift or something. You lose the rest of the evening recovering your lunch and going home. You gain a nice just for trying. Lose a speedy. What? Damn it. I've oh waited my God. the last two I weeks of this. See, here's the thing. <laughs> I thought it was going to give you a speedy because I didn't think your character was going to have such an attitude of, ugh, I have to that go chase after Prancer. Just couldn't care less, hey? I was going to say, you thought I'd, be, thought I'd be part of the Christmas spirit. Ooh, a nice little run through the forest. He's like, no, I'm going to walk. God I'm going to fucking walk. <laughs> and then when Prancer inevitably disappears i'm gonna be disappointed go back eat my <laughs> cold lunch <laughs> although I, 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 I get it i would be pretty mad too if one reindeer kept running away and pr had the audacity to prance every time they did yeah. <laughs> i'd be pretty oh i'd be pretty salty over it right christmas eve is upon us the remote workshop outside is behind schedule because none of us did work and if we don't get their deadlines met, all the children of no cheer will wake up with nothing but presents from their parents. Prancer has pranced off. That <laughs> sleigh won't fly with only seven reindeer. <laughs> I kind of tried. Effectively, <laughs> you've ruined Christmas. You, see, <laughs> here's the thing. Now they can't say anything to you because you did get up from your lunch and walk to try and go grab Francis. What do those Snowkins do? Nothing for nobody. <laughs> and so, worst of all, Krampus is closing in on the naughty and nice list. Luckily, he hasn't gotten it yet, but he's sure to take advantage of this, all of all this chaos. I felt dead. dealt with. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? <laughs> Is it me? I assumed it was you. <laughs> I thought you were making a joke. 
<laughs> Stay on the castle of your shoes, elves. We've got a slur to pack. Oh, damn. Let's oh. do it. Oh. Am I first? You ended yes. fastest, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I can catch Prancer, which I'm speedy. I can maybe do that. Um, Help the workshop, inspect the sleigh, attach the reindeer, pack the sleigh, sleep till morn. <laughs> <laughs> That's, awesome. that's just a little fact that's an option it's just both of the options just cool fuck you guys i'm leaving <laughs> stop krampus or help krampus oh god okay so i want to catch prancer maybe i want to see if i can help graham stop Pran oh, uh is the stop krampus option just a bear trap oh god Wait. oh my lord yep. <laughs> and who's it for it's for joey <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Oh, yeah. That, that's just a decoy. Oh my god. <laughs> I do okay. like the way the options like, interact with this little postcard image. That's cool. Prancer is missing. Yeah. Will you look for her? Confirm. After finding her tracks, you go running towards the abominable woods. You, As you breach the tree line, several snowkin point you in Prancer's direction. You find her shortly after, prancing around one of the snowkin's bonfires. Hopping onto her back, you wrestle control of her reins and steer her back to the sleigh. Your hunt helps Christmas. Cool. So I guess well, I did. Was... <laughs> I... Now okay. time for me I, time to say, sabotage I, I, all of I'm you. Feeling that you're just gonna sleep. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> it's pretty. It's obvious. been a long winter. Why not take the night off? Yeah, sure. I love the idea of your character mixing up the letters intentionally for two weeks, making everything decidedly harder. <laughs> then the final day before Christmas hap is here, we're Christmas Eve, and you're just like, I'm nah, gonna go to sleep. Oh, nah. I've worked really hard this past two weeks. <laughs> After spending two months preparing, though, you sleep, uh, you sleep clean through through the eve. You spend the early morning out and about preparing, but somewhere in the afternoon you retreat to your room. You throw an extra log or two onto the fire, cozy up under a thick blanket, and drift off into dreamland. Your friends that are uh, your friends there are grateful, but Santa isn't. Well, he ain't here. <laughs> Do we need to have like a talk, man? Are you doing all right? <laughs> Six weeks into this, you just you went full naughty and just checked out entirely. I, I feel like maybe we let you down by not not keeping yeah. your holiday spirit strong throughout the full. I gotta order. say, I feel like that's the case. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm gonna pack the sleigh. Anything to the use your heavy <laughs> help carry some. With a whistle on your lips and some pep in your step, you get to loading the presents onto the sleigh. Not only do you lift the largest present with ease, your jolliness inspires the others to work just as hard as you. <laughs> just like all these puny little elves, and I'm like, do it, <laughs> lift them. <laughs> you this the is what I've been working out for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you pick up the sled, just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You learned the last gift well before Santa has arrived. Your work ethic has helped Christmas immensely. Holy hell, I've done great. What are you so, all doing? I was supposed to sabotage it. I am left in a situation where money is meaningless, which really sucks. I could inspect the sleigh, and I bet I would do a good job of it. You, you it could go help. You well. could help Krampus, because that's nice, apparently. I think that's the way I'm leaning, and I think that's the advantage of going last right now, is that with Nez just tapping out, no one contributing <laughs> to stop Krampus. Wait a minute. I think we've been left in a chaos scenario Wait, before... where I'm, I'm, I was, I'm a double agent. I was nice this whole time so I could apparently help Krampus at the end and enjoy Christmas more than the rest of you. Uh, as a, as a quick thing before you press it, if you go back to stop Krampus and you know how like it was the bear trap, right? Does that mean yeah. Krampus' yeah. name is Joey? <laughs> I hope he's Joey Krampus, yeah. <laughs> Joe, it's me and you, ride or die, bud. I am helping Krampus. Oh my. With great empathy, you understand what Krampus is striving for. Being nice means striving to make everyone else nice as well. Everyone deserves to have a nice time. How many times is he going to say nice? <laughs> you can't have that with people going around being naughty. 
While Krampus is thankful for your help, Santa is not. Yeah, well, oh. I haven't seen you. I it's do. hard to believe another Christmas Eve is over. It's been a long two months, but no matter the outcome, we'd never trade them for the world. All that matters is that we did this together and that we enjoyed ourselves as we did so. This year, this year however, however... Oh, what? That was my line. We <laughs> had a system. That's his, that's his naughty kicking in. It's going to be a blue Christmas. <laughs> Christmas just blue balled you. <laughs> and Krampus found the list, but when he came to swap out the presents of all the naughty children, as was his right according to his agreement with Santa, nothing was ready. The presents had yet to be loaded, Prancer was nowhere to be seen, and the mood was generally sour. I didn't I know think they had ruined Christmas. We did. We, we did. Objectively we, did, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we did. The eve went on like that, and by the time he was supposed to be in the air, Santa had unhitched the sleigh and vowed he was taking a holiday. It was a year without a Santa Claus, a Christmas morning so sad. And if we want this to be the only year without a Santa Claus, we had better get some rest. Everyone, everyone just going to bed. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. The next week is all about reflection and one last chance to enjoy ourselves before we snooze for 10 months. What, does this game have one more week? I As think it's it just the epilogue. Oh. Yeah. Oh, maybe for each character. So I, I guess yeah. you can read it. I look so sad. <laughs> As everyone disperses to sleep off the night, it dawns on you. I, I figured everyone would read their own character. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know. As everyone disperses to sleep off in the, off the night, it dawns on you. I can't go any... I can't... You oh, have to go. Oh, is it me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've been so busy that you forgot to get presents for your parents. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> you stand beside the sleigh, a pile of unsent presents before you. Perhaps it was <laughs> luck the night went the way it did. Perhaps it was luck the night went the way it did. Perhaps Christmas morning, your parents <laughs> love the bundle of socks and professional grade sander? Next year, try to remember a little sooner, okay? It your family and friends... Luck, but I oh. think you just robbed the sleigh. <laughs> oh, I barely realized all of us are in this, so this is uh, yeah. yours now. This is yours. Yeah. yeah. Your family and friends angrily berate you on Christmas morning, asking where you were the night before. <laughs> it would seem an extra set of hands would have been helpful after all. No? Not worth it, no. Still not worth it. No one blames you for the outcome of the night. Thanks. Okay. No one blames me. I'm good all I'm good I like that. how you chose to ignore that next part. <laughs> the mood around the North Pole, though, is already a little low, but everyone seems a little lower when they see you. Ah, uh, that's just normal. <laughs> Your time until hibernation is spent getting back in their good graces. I don't... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it just makes you literally start vomiting, <laughs> hey? Just the thought of it. You begin to notice a snugness to your outfits. <laughs> Not from the holiday treats, but all the weight you've been lifting. <laughs> this is your character arc yeah. coming to fruition. <laughs> <laughs> all the weights you've been lifting. Wanting to give yourself a Christmas present. You stroll down to the clothing shop and realize nothing quite fits an elf of your physique. <laughs> oh my god, they punish you for being buff. Oh, I'm literally Ooh, a strong. hulking mess. <laughs> this won't do. You spent the rest of your time until hibernation divining outfits for a more muscular elf. You drop your designs off at the clothing shop on your way to sleep. Next year, you're going to look fabulous. Well, it seems like you had a really pleasant resolution to this story. Yeah. You spend your time taking a vacation to the South Pole. There is a resort there run by South Pole elves and giant penguins. This sounds dynamite. <laughs> Designed to give their uh, to give their more northerly cousins a place to forget the holiday. Everything is blue and orange, and an indoor beach has been set up where you lounge your last few days away. <laughs> Till I you pass dying? away. <laughs> so you're yeah, dying. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says Christmas is over like a wave maker. Oh, like on a on like a f artificial beach. Gotcha. I was trying to figure out if it was further implying my character's death. <laughs> <laughs> and that we're was... all sad. Christmas is ruined. That well, not awesome. me though. I'm kind of indifferent. But hey, 
<laughs> that was fun. I really liked the the entire. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess I, no I, one I, wins. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, I, won. I, we like, ruined can, Christmas. Can you successfully help Christmas, or is it just doomed? Did we all lose? Is that more accurate? I think. I think. I think enough people are supposed to succeed at the final event. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, like it. It all culminates there. So, like, at the final so, event, if you don't sleep in on the last day of Christmas, and if you don't help Krampus, you might be able to save Christmas. <laughs> it also no, I seems think you like, can still fail those events. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, it's, it seems like as well that the going really hard into one stat really worked. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you kind of have to be able to predict what is going to influence. I, I found predicting the stats a lot easier in this than Monster Prom. I, I I loved every little part of it though. It was fun from like beginning. Yeah, I to love end. that. I love that. <laughs> Great. I'm I'm glad we got through it too because uh, this was the Christmas episode. Yay! Yay! <laughs> wow! We Merry Christmas! Yay! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a happy year. Grinch. <laughs>